Hi, I'm Dan Rodriguez at MWC, and I'm joined by Martin Lerner of Ericsson, who's the head of RAN product management. Great to be here, Dan. Another Barcelona coming up. Yeah, it's another big event, another very lively uh, week. So when I think about Ericsson Intel, we've done a lot of great things together in 23. We got a big year in store for us in 24, but you've recently or launched your next generation high, high capacity RAN compute platform. Can you talk a little bit about that? Absolutely. So our next generation of RAM compute platform is really a pivotal part in how we're developing the networks going forward. As you will see, 5G traffic is growing and the use of massive MIMO is increasing in this network. We've been using massive MIMO in TDD layers before. We are today in Barcelona announcing our FDD massive MIMO product. And all of this needs a higher compute platform. And that's why we are so excited to work together with you to industrialize and build out our fourth generation ROM compute which is a very high capacity platform yeah. that can cater for all bands in a single car. Yeah, thanks Martin. I'm definitely very, very optimistic about the platform success. In addition to that, we also did strike a pretty good collaboration in 2023 around Intel's 18A technology for future 5G custom SOCs. And this, I think, is a great testimony of why Ericsson and Intel is working so good together. We as a company are based on technology leadership. That's been the foundation of our strategy for so many years. And taking us to the next level, we're now starting to design the next platforms. The collaboration and getting onto the latest processing nodes are so important for us to stay lead and stay technology leaders in this industry. And that we do together with Intel in this sense. We're very pleased and very excited about the RE collaboration to make this platform real. Absolutely, definitely appreciate the collaboration there. Another area that we're working on together is how to transform the networks utilizing Cloud RAN technology. We've had a lot of great success in working with Intel's 4th Gen Xeon platform with VRAN Boost. Can you talk a little bit more about that collaboration? So this is a so important part of the evolution of Cloud RAN. I was here last year as well, talking about the establishment of the 4th generation design processor. And for us, we see this as a complement to the portfolio. We see that we will need our purpose-built portfolio, our own compute, continue to be built out. But we also see traction across the globe on our cloud, cloud drone marketing offering that we do together with you on the Intel side. And making sure that we get the first calls happen on the fourth generation design processor is a pivotal part for us and for the total industry, because this is a platform that can efficiently handling a own workload on an Intel server and I think this is an, a stepping stone to making cloud run real across the networks. Absolutely. It's definitely a big stepping stone in the industry. Speaking of stepping stones, you really had a monumental or very pivotal announcement most recently with at and Can you share a bit about that? Yeah, it's a great, a great story for us. It's, uh, it's built on two basic foundations, technology and trust between the companies. So we are modernizing the AT&T networks, and this is done back to the previous point, a combination of a, a cloud run space and a purpose-built space. Uh, and both these two technologies, you are a very essential part of. And I think you are why we can build this competitive networks that AT&T is looking for us to build going forward. So this will be now uh, the next generation of building networks, what we call the networks platform and the network for the future to cater for a more horizontal layer where the compute becomes the underlying layer and the software comes to the top layer. Uh, and that we see as a major trend across the industry going forward. Absolutely. And one of the things we try to do at Intel is we try to continue to innovate within our general world processor, but keep adding more punch to it by adding the right accelerators, the right instruction sets, et cetera, to provide gen-on-gen -gen performance improvements, but also software portability from platform to platform. And at this show, we announced our newest Xeon processor called Granite Rapids D. Can you talk a little about the collaboration there? Absolutely. It's been a collaboration that has been ongoing for quite some time. I think we have a very good R&D to R&D collaboration between Ericsson and Intel, really designing the future generations of Granite Rapids. And now making that a reality by making the first call on that is so exciting yeah. because as well as the fourth generation is a stepping stone, this is the next stepping stone of performance for us, which is needed for beating our own workflow today. And I think the ability that we can be able to build this reportability between the generation is really going to make a difference in how we can roll this technology out into the network, which is in the end, the old goal for all of us. Yeah. Absolutely. No, it's been great talking with you today, Martin. Look forward to a great show. Thank you, Dan. Yeah, it took you. Yeah.